Hi everybody, it's Meat Skelton with another vlog chat for ya. Ah, I did this, I did this in, I did this, I did the, I, what? Well, I did this video on my phone, but unfortunately my phone got overheated, and so I lost the video. <laughs> so I'm trying to re-record. I'm doing okay. Oh, by the way, I got paid for my, I finally got paid for the Preppers Convention. I got paid uh, very generously. I won't tell you how much, but it was very nice. <laughs> There's more than two paychecks at work, <laughs> so um, <clears throat> apparently they really liked it. They wanted to pay me a thousand dollars. I said, hey, that's okay, <laughs> but if you want to in the future, that's fine. I just think, um, I think it's nice to get a little extra moolah. Uh, and I feel appreciated. I think some people really recognize that I have something to offer. Um, you know, it's it's like, you know, professionally. Um, okay, so I'd like to talk about the many sides of mead. Okay, so when I was 14 years old, um, I was thrown from my horse and I got a mild concussion. We were at a horse show, the Upperville Horse Show actually. Um, in Upperville, Virginia, I was, I was going towards a jump and a bl big black crow come down out of the tree and swooped and spooked my horse. And my horse went one, uh, she spooked and went one way and I went another way. So I landed on my head and, um, it's like when you get a concussion, you go bouncy, bouncy, your brain goes bouncy, bouncy. It's like your brain is jello, like my brain is jello. And it bounces all over the place. <laughs> so my horse was in heat. You know, when mares get in heat, they're worse than stallions. Because they just go crazy. And she was rearing up and she was in heat. So she was going all around the ring. Someone had to catch her. Well, they had the paramedics there. And this was 1993. So they had the paramedics there. But they were there anyway because, oh, well, there's certain risks. For some reason, people think jumping a horse is, is a, a dangerous sport. I don't know. Anyway, so they talked to me and said, you, are you all right? You know, do, you know, do you know where you are? Do you know who you are? I said, I was fine. But when I got up, I was very dizzy. And I almost blacked out a little bit. Well, I couldn't remember. But I think I had a concussion. I should have gone to the doctor. But folks, after that experience, I started having these mood swings, like I would act like real moody and irritable, kind of like a woman, <laughs> you know how women can be. So I was just like getting all moody and irritable all of a sudden when I was 14, a teenager. Now, some people say, well, all teenagers are like that. But before that, I was just as sweet as pie, the nicest uh, young man you could ever meet. And I don't know what happened to me, but... Something happened where I just lost my identity or something. Now, I'm not saying it was that one event. I've had other, uh, believe it or not, I've had several uh, brain injuries. Uh, not, you know, nothing medically significant, but, oh, I was dropped on the head when I was a baby. Um, some other things, too. My older sister pushed me down the stairs. And I guess I had a lot of things going on with my personal life, but uh, from all the trauma that happened, see, I think I have PTSD. After my mother died, you know, when you hear that death rattle, it is just very upsetting. And to an 11-year-old child, it's just, you know, really like a horror movie. And so, after my mother died, I think it really caused a split in my personality. Now, I'm not saying I have multiple personality disorder. Now, a lot of folks say, well, multiple personality disorder doesn't even exist. I do think I have alters, like I have different people. Now, when I was at the statue last year, I think that was Robert. Robert is a 16-year-old boy, and he's very determined. He's like, ah, uh, you know, very... But I think even a 16-year-old, you know, is still kind of a kid. And I think when he was up there, he just he had a meltdown because he, like, he was overwhelmed. And I think he's still a child. He wants to be a man, he's still a child. And um, Robert is very gung-ho on... Um, protecting honor and, conf and confederate uh, heritage and southern heritage and um, he's very much like that but Robert gets very irritated when Shelley comes out Shelley is a 16 or 15 year old girl now I know everyone's gonna ask does Shelley like boys no <laughs> Shelley it doesn't really have a sexuality per se she's just really into fashion and um, she's kind of like um, I don't know she's just kind of this girl that sometimes, every now and then, it's a side of me, okay? 
I don't know, and she thinks boys are immature. But she likes fashion, and she's not really into country music, she likes more like pop music. Um, and Shelly likes bright colors, and um, she's into uh, romantic movies, stuff like that. So naturally, Shelly will be upset when she sees a 40-plus year old man standing in the mirror. Um, and she's very much uh, upset about her appearance. You know, she's very appearance, uh, appearance conscious. And she wants to do, um, she wants to do a good job with her looks. And Robert is infuriated. Robert is a boy. He doesn't want to be like Shelly. Um, okay. So, uh, but th these are not really personalities. I think these are just like, everyone has a, a male, female side. Uh, okay. I'll tell you about, okay. So another one is, um, is it Trevor? I think it's Trevor. He's very gung -ho. Trevor is very gung-ho into fitness. He's about 26 years old. He pushes me, you know, he has me bike riding in the middle of the night, doing weights and stuff, and he says, you gotta get in shape, you gotta push it, man, you gotta, you gotta do it now, you gotta be tough, you gotta, no pain, no gain. I tell Trevor, you know, Trevor, I, I can't do this. You know, I have to settle down a little bit. It's like, it's like a zigzag. Um, okay, so these aren't really personalities. I just think it's just different, different, um, splits or alters, I call them. And, like, several years ago, I had something cast out that was demonic, I think. Now, not all of this is demonic. I think this is the brain's way of coping, like I mentioned you, coping mechanisms. When I see a very attractive woman, I don't know what personality is, is, is around. And I noticed that, like, when I increased my, um, I started losing a bit more weight. Like, when I get really fat, uh, I don't notice women at all. And all of a sudden, uh, when I lose weight, it's like women are everywhere. <laughs> wow. So, I think it's the, my hormone levels, too. Because, you know, when I was a teenager, they, they in the 1990s, they kept telling all us young kids, drink bottled water. It's better for you. Well, bottled water is full of estrogen, so I was just a walking pile of estrogen between 12 and 19. And I think that when I tried to lose weight, um, it worked a little bit. I did lose weight when I was young, like when I was 19 or 20, I lost a bunch of weight. Then I put it back on, and then I lost it, then I put it back on. This is not healthy, folks. So you can see why I have different, that maybe I do have, like, a lot of people don't understand that who is the real meat skeleton? Who is the real meat skeleton? A lot of people don't know who I really am, and sometimes I don't know who I really am. But I, d I determined at the end of the day, and by the way, I hate that expression at the end of the day, um, that it really doesn't matter if, if I am different people or if I have multiple personalities. I think I have one that's five years old because uh, something happened to me, you know, and I'm, I don't go into that. Um, something very not good but if something happened to me and I have PTSD and I have all these different altars what really matters is I'm a Christian and I love the Lord and I have a relationship with Jesus and so I believe that the Lord is healing me of these different splits whether it's Robert or Shelley or Trevor or um, um, Jeffrey I think that the Lord is healing me and these are really not alters I'm not multiple personality I don't I don't have blackouts I don't you know I don't not remember stuff so obviously obviously I'm aware of what's happening but it, I just feel like some my mood changes and all of a sudden I'm just I look at the world a different way now okay maybe that is a different personality but as you well know, if you studied Myers-Briggs, I'm an ISFP. So my shadow functions are E-N-E-N-T-J. So if I'm going to my shadow functions, which I do when I debate and I go on my political tirades, I'm an ENTJ uh, to the max. And so I think that that's what's happening is that I might be going to into my shadow functions. And, um, you know, there's everybody has... Nobody is 100% a personality. We all have different colors and shades of every, every aspect of our personality. And I think that all these people in my head, like, when I'm singing, that's when everybody's united. But sometimes if I'm doing a vlog and I'm in a different mood or something, I might have Shelly or Robert or, or someone else um, in place of that. Now, I know this all sounds weird. 
but I'm sure that each and every one of us have an altar. We probably have a different personality uh, that comes out at different times, and, and it's really not that abnormal, you know. Uh, so I'm just throwing that out there and just saying, you probably don't know who I am, and I don't know who I am, but the Lord Jesus knows, and He knows my heart. I think that's very important. So thank you all for watching. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I'll be doing a, more vlogs for you soon and another music video. Hope you all enjoy it. Go to my website at meatskeltonsplace.com. And remember, folks, when life hands you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make a lemon meringue pie. Bye.